Wolverine is one of the most popular comic book characters in existence. Up there in fame with characters like Superman, Spider-Man, and Batman. He is absolutely the best there is at what he does, but what does it take to actually be just like him? In this video and a few episodes following it, I'm going to use my over 20 years of martial arts experience to not only break down exactly what you Wolverine uses to fight, but also teach you literal movesets that he uses in the movies and shows. Well, I guess in the movie specifically, because we're going to be going over Hugh Jackman's version of the character. But welcome to the Become a Superhero series here on YouTube. And if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel, that would be great. What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja YouTube channel. I wanted to let you guys know that there's going to be timestamps down below. So if you want to jump to a certain point in this series, maybe you want to jump to the tutorial or you want to skip the who is Wolverine segment, that is down for you guys. But let's get into it. Like I said earlier, most people do know who Wolverine is at this point. I mean, Hugh Jackman has been playing in the character for nearly two and a half decades. Starting with X-Men in the year 2000 and ending with Deadpool 3 coming out sometime uh, in 2024, at least at the time of this recording, it's still coming out in 2024. But on the slim chance that you missed all of those X-Men movies and nine separate X-Men cartoon series, let's break down the character just a wee bit. Wolverine is a mutant with the rage of an absolute beast and the soul of a samurai. And well, the skills of a samurai too. Logan has lived quite a long time due to his healing factor, living well into his 160s by the time of the first X-Men movie, and making it to his 180s by the time he is, well, spoiler for like a super old movie, but by the time he's killed in Logan. This means that he has experience in fighting in pretty much every major war since the late 1800s, the American Civil War, both World Wars, Vietnam, and working as a mercenary after for several years. The man's got some battle experience. This is not his only mutant power though. He also has three bone claws in each of his hands, well technically stored in his arms. Eventually they got coated in adamantium and made him one of the best killers a shady government organization could possibly ask for. And when you sprinkle in a few adamantium bullets that somehow only took away his memory, we end up with a pretty interesting character. Yes, I know it's not how it works in the comments, I hate the movie too, but it's the version of the character we're going off of, so it's what we gotta work with. And if you want me to do another version of the character, or a different character entirely, just let me know down in the comments below. Now, I want to get into his fighting style, but before we do, I want to let you guys know that I'm actually starting something new. In the community tab of my channel, I'm going to release a poll, and so go vote on the poll to see what your favorite animated version of Wolverine is. The winner will get a special episode in this Wolverine series just about one of their fighting combinations. So if you absolutely love the 90s animated series, go vote. Or maybe you're like me and X-Men Evolution is what really brought you to the character and maybe X-Men as a whole. Either way, go vote. Just click over to the channel and then click over to the community tab, hitting the subscribe button while you're there. And if you also want to become a member to help support me and the channel, that would be awesome. I'd be really appreciated. And you would also get videos like this early before anyone else has access to them. So if that's something you'd be interested in, just letting you know it's there. But that's enough about that. Let's get into the fighting style. When it comes to claws retracted, you're gonna be seeing a lot of headbutts, elbows, and wide swinging punches, basically making really good use of that adamantium skeleton. And I can't say I would do anything differently. Your elbows are the sharpest natural weapon you have. Well, outside of his bone claws, obviously, but they're the sharpest natural weapon you have. And using those elbows will allow you to do significant damage to your enemy's bones without even being coated in that metal skeleton. Then just add in the skeleton and it gets even worse. And those wide swinging punches with the metal skeleton act like he's swinging around free weights at his enemies. And yet again, doing some serious damage. And if the hands are like swinging around little barbells, the skull is like taking a full metal plate 
and whacking someone in the head with it. Don't believe me? Check this out. I did just a little bit of math. Canonically, Wolverine weighs in at about 292 pounds, which I feel like that's a bit light, but whatever, we'll go with it. The human head is about 8.26% of your total body weight. So that just means that Wolverine's head is going to be like swinging around a solid metal 24 pounds. And the human arms make up about 5.7% of your total body weight. And that means that 16 and a half pounds are swinging on each side of Wolverine when he just throws a simple punch. And that is absolutely something to be afraid of. But by no means is that why he's the best there is at what he does. When he whips out those claws, it becomes a whole different ball game. When fighting with the claws out, Wolverine is incredibly brutal, but surprisingly fluid oftentimes alternating his strikes with his left and right side. He absolutely takes influence from kickboxing, but he's also able to use his claws to block, deflect, and parry sword strikes, truly letting that kendo training shine through. Now, I know it's not clear that he actually has kendo training in the movies, but considering that he has such a good fighting style when it comes to his personal combat and the fact that he spent so much time in uh, Asia, where he would easily be able to learn Kendo. I'm just going to consider that Kendo is implied, especially when you take into consideration that the original source of his character in the comics, Kendo is a huge part of his character. So far, we have a mix of boxing, kickboxing, and Kendo. At first glance, he seems to use this to just rush ahead into the battle without really giving it a second thought. And for someone with as much battle experience as he is supposed to have, that really just doesn't make sense. Like not picking up any real tactics over 150 years of wars would be pretty dumb. And at first I really did think it was just gonna be just that, that he was just kind of dumb in the, the movies, but that's not actually the case. When doing my research for this video, I noticed something really important. Sure, he charges in, that's kind of his thing. I'm not denying that, but he's really smart about it. He knows the kill points of any human body but like the back of his hand and definitely chooses whether he wants to make his target suffer or just end them quickly. He can straight up stab a dude in the chest and have a whole gloating conversation with them or stealthily take out soldiers one by one without being seen or noticed at all, ending them so quickly that they don't even have time to scream. This quick time to kill plus his ability to take serious damage allows him for, to use his most famous strategy pulling out those claws and launching straight into the enemy. And when you really start to think about it, the reason he does that is absolutely brilliant. Because for as much of a loner killer he claims to be, he often is seen protecting others, often acting like a father figure protecting his cubs. So him running from enemy to enemy as fast as he can allows him to take down as many of the targets as possible as quickly as possible. And anyone that he couldn't put down on the first pass is definitely now focused on him instead of the other people he may be protecting. And so those bullets that may have been meant for some of his friends and students are now flying towards him and he's Wolverine. He doesn't care about bullets. He could take bullets all day and night. He even is able to think through and use his environment to attack enemies and create barriers to funnel them towards him. So even when it seems like he's just blindly running into battle, which to be fair, Sometimes he's just angry and totally is doing that, but it's still for the most part him using his decades and decades of experience to protect those he loves. Even the way he dives into the last enemy or the most powerful enemy with two hands allows him to be sure to do serious damage to the biggest threat, either pinning them on the ground like a lawn sign or drilling them through a window or something to take them to a different location. Either way, keeping his friends safe. My favorite Wolverine stories have always been where he's acting like this unfortunate or unwanted father figure, just taking care of his kids and doing his best to protect them, which is why I love the Logan movie so much and why I love the Mandalorian, but that's for another day. But seeing that come through in his fighting style is just really nice to see. But how do we recreate his fighting style and learn it in real life? I mean, obviously we don't have Wolverine claws. But did you know that Wolverine also didn't originally have claws? Like that wasn't part of his mutant powers? Yeah, originally at first in the comics, they were just weapons attached to his suit. And they are an exaggerated version of a real weapon, the Bagnak. 
I'm only 50% sure I'm pronouncing that right. A Hindi dagger type weapon that just basically combines brass knuckles and spikes. And there are several versions of this type of weapon, but they have been modified and played with throughout the years to look really, really close to what would basically be Wolverine claws. So if you want more traditional versions like the one I'm gonna be using during the tutorial portion of this video, definitely check out the links down below, but you can also get just the straight up Wolverine designs, the ones that just look like you actually have Wolverine claws on. So if you want these or any of the other variations of these, I'll leave the link for all of those down in the description. But let's get to the tutorial. Okay, so for this first tutorial, we're gonna be going and using these brass claws that I have simply because I have two of them and I don't have two of the Wolverine claws. If you would rather use these claws, I'll leave a link down in the description for you or I'll leave a link honestly to both so you can decide which one you want. But we're gonna be breaking down his scene, well honestly one of my favorite Wolverine scenes in existence, the one where he is protecting or going to protect Laura Kinney X-23 in the movie Logan at the end. For this specific scene, he is actually running through guards and since I don't have anyone here to hold the camera while we run, we're gonna do these more in place. But if you just implemented them while just Hugh Jackman running, that would be ideal as well. So let's get started. We're gonna start off with our claws out in whatever Wolverine pose you wanna do because why not? Wolverine poses are some of the best poses, so pick your favorite. I don't know why it spun, but whatever. So we're gonna start off in our Wolverine pose of choice and continue with two basic slashes coming right and left. These slashes come out and around striking and attacking someone's head to body area. Right, left. Our third is not a slash, but more of a stab. So after our right and left slashes, our right hand is gonna come through. We rotate, pivot with our hips into our right stab. So again, pivot as we turn, pivot as we turn, right hand straight, and then following up with a left across, right? And if you notice, you wanna remember that I'm actually pivoting my hips at each one of these strikes. As I strike across, I pivot, 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 right? That's how Wolverine fights. It's very kickboxing-esque, and this is gonna be where you get a lot of your power from. So now that we have our one, two, three, four, we have our first block. It really is the only block that Wolverine does in this combination. A gun comes at him and he pushes it, not necessarily stabs it, that happens later, but he pushes it to the side to allow him to stab the other enemy in the chest and take him to the ground. So as we push, we're actually gonna move the gun offline of our body as we move our body offline as well. You don't just wanna push or move, that's not how it works. You wanna do both, that is key. Even in real gun defense, that would still be key. This is a little more aggressive. He gets shot plenty of times, uh, and so we're just recreating that scene, but even in real gun defense, you don't just push, you don't just move, you do both and do other things to address the gun. But back to our combination, we have right, left, right, straight, left across. We have our push, push, leaning our body away from the barrel of the gun, taking our left hand, stabbing into the chest and down towards the ground. Make sure as you drop the person, you're not just dropping your arm, but you're also dropping your knee as you drive them to the ground, just like that. Then you're actually going to curve the claws down as you push. So now we go into my favorite part. We take our claws and we don't just knock the gun away, no. We stab into the gun, locking up and keeping our opponent where we want them to be so we can spin through and come through with a right hand slash across just like that. Again, I'm starting on this side of the screen so you can see how this, regardless of whether you're running or not, this combination does travel through enemies into your target. So from the beginning, we have right slash, left slash, right stab, left slash. We have our block, stab, drive down. Finding that next target, we have stabbing into the gun, 
spinning into it like you want to stab with your right and then spin in that same direction so you can come around with your right slash. And then we're going to finish with our classic Wolverine jump, meaning we're going to launch into the air. If you've ever seen me do tutorials for a Superman punch, this is very similar, except instead of firing your one punch, you're going to be pulling both claws up and stabbing out just like that. You can do either one. I can't remember exactly which one he does in the film. I believe it's vertical, but honestly, it's up to your flair. So one more time, <clears throat> we just slash the cross, pulling our claws in, our back leg li lifts up into the air. And as we lift that knee, that's what gets us into the air with our jump. We use that momentum so that as we're in the air, we extend our leg back and fire our claws out at the same time, looking something like this. And then if you really want that effect, hold the claws into your opponent just for a little bit, just to get that effect, and then rip them back out so you are ready for the next guys, or you're ready for your incredible roar like Wolverine does. I gotta tell you, Hugh Jackman's roar is like the best. And by some slim chance, if you're watching this, Hugh, if I can call you Hugh or Mr. Jackman, whichever one you like, um, let me know what you think. But regardless, starting in our Wolverine pose of choice, we have our right slash, left, straight, left. From here, we have our block, stab, drive to the ground. Stab into the gun, spin through, slash, kick that knee up, jump, double stab, and pull back for a dramatic effect. Sorry guys, I'm kind of under the weather, so if you can hear my voice, that's why, my bad. Or if you can hear me chewing on the cough drop, again, I'm sorry, I, I'm just trying to get through this video without coughing my lungs out. But hopefully you enjoyed this video and let's go back inside. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. Be ready because I'll be dropping more parts of this little series to teach you even more combinations that Wolverine uses in the movies. And I'll be dropping little fun facts with them as well. But don't forget, go vote for your favorite version of Wolverine because I'll be using whatever you guys, whatever wins that vote to make the final episode of this little series. Well, I guess it won't necessarily be the final episode, but it'll be... Uh, the last one I've planned out, and if you just really love Wolverine and blow up this series, I'll just continue to make more. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. Be the modern ninja, but left off. Just know I'm dangerous. I'm on that Bruce Lee, flow like water, state of mind Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pin Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim Out here flashing chains while your boy been in the gym Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to...